All right, let's talk about how to optimize performance max campaigns utilizing the three different ways of optimizing asset groups. So it's one more level down of Pmax. You may normally be thinking, you may look at you know your, your products a lot, your audience signals, stuff like that, but I'm gonna talk about the three normal ways to optimize your asset groups for better overall Pmax performance in your Google Ads. So three different ways. The first way is gonna be about your ad copy. Now, each asset group should have different ad copy associated to that actual intended audience that you're gonna reach, right? You should not just copy and paste every headline, description, long headline, all the good stuff from every single asset group to other asset group. That is no way to give Google the amount of information it needs to actually perform to get different audiences in that actual campaign, right? So how do you do this? You wanna do offer, promotion, Avatar, brand, USP, general, and product. So about six or seven different ways you want to make each asset group unique. Now, this doesn't mean you have to have each individual thing completely different than other asset groups. But what we want to do is say, if, this, if one of your asset groups is going after, say, remarketing to your, you know, just a remarketing audience, right? Say they visited an X collection page. Well, you know, let's say they're visiting your shoe collection page, right? Create actual ad copy that talks about the products that they would see, the promotions they would see, the actual product overall, like what's, you know, what's different with that product compared to competitors. There's so many different ways you can include your ad copy that is different than just saying brand blah 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 right you want to make sure it's way more detailed and segmented than just having a generalized um, copy and paste headline and description that every other you know ask group has right so that's the first way the second way is doing the creative now a lot of this is the exact same as your ad copy but the main thing here is a lot of people don't do this. They may do ad copy, but I very rarely see actual creatives that are updated for certain product brands, certain product collections, the audience that you're going after. The main thing you want to keep an eye on here is product, avatar, and style. So product, very simple, right? You know, showcase actual product the avatar is who you're targeting actually have them in the actual creative they're going to see right so they see themselves using your product or in the lifestyle right and then the style can be is it professional versus ugc test out very professional looking videos versus iphone you know kind of done on a phone camera stuff right right like that um, want to test those two out, two things out right there. Um, so pretty much creative, you can pretty much copy a lot of this stuff right here. You see with, you know, the avatar, the brand, stuff like that, include corporation like that. But the main thing is to showcase the products, actually showcase the asset group and listing group, talk about the avatar you're going to see. And then the third thing is making sure testing a professional versus more, you know, off the cuff style, right? And off the cuff reviews. So that's the second thing. And the third thing, my absolute favorite and thing kind of get away the most with is audience signals. Now this is a, longer list let's cut through that now audience signals you can pretty much have unlimited amounts of different targeting that you're doing now please remember this is just giving google different ways of branching out and seeing who they can find you're not just saying hey google here's my remarking list to make only remarking pmax as of right now that's not really an option and audience signals are just giving google the ability to think of oh these people work well for you let's find more people in the same situation that may work well for you right and that's why you want to match these up with each one of these should align with your audience signal. That's why it's so important to have very matching and very segmented asset groups to your ad copy and to your listing groups and to your uh, creative as well. Everything should match, right? Everything is about relevance. That's the main goal of Google is to give all the ultimate relevance to a searcher so they keep coming back to Google to use the product to give them money to make you more money, right? It's all aligned. Relevance is the key. But how can we do this, right? So the main thing I would say, the main couple would be first party. Now this would be like customer list, your website visitor, stuff like that. 
Another favorite is custom intent versus affinity. This one is kind of, that would say the next best thing is looking at your converter search terms like that. See, okay, can I create my own custom audience, aka custom segment, and look at people search this and kind of just maximize that out and give Google as much information as possible to kind of go and find those, find those people for you. Um, then you have pre defined in market or affinity. Again, the same thing, but you're just whatever Google is already telling you. And then what are some other ones? So uh, we have similar to, I would say stick with these first and then branch out. And the second ones are top searches. They can be uh, analytics, Amazon, you know, anything else that you're getting actual data from. And then let's, let's do this here. Do, so let's get a little thick. And then let's do uh, top keywords. This time, take a look at actual performer keywords the last 30 to 90 days, see which one's working well, put those in an audit signal. And then some other ones are competitors first or second. First competitors would be someone actually offering the same service as you. A second one would be someone you can kind of align with like, hey, if they're using this product, they're probably gonna be in need for one of my products. So if they just bought, say, a custom bike or a bike, they're probably gonna need one of you, one of you right? So just the next step away from actually a competitor of yours. Um, and that's pretty much a little bit of, you know, ideas for audience signals. You definitely could do kind of the insights versions of like the searches, the optimized audiences, and just ready, like those ones that Google's giving you should definitely be a thing you do. But these are just some of my favorites for the first time you try it and the second time. So overall, those are three different ways to kind of optimize your PMAX campaigns using acid group optimizations. So again, ad copy is the first thing. I want to make sure that's very relevant to who you're targeting. The creative should be very relevant as well. But you can test some things in those creatives and make sure your audience signals match what your ad copy or your creative is, is going after, right? So those are the three areas of optimizing acid groups and that should definitely increase your overall PMAX optimizations. Thank you. Have a good day.